Okay. Nice to see you, Jessa. Nice uh, garden behind you there. But as you can see, I'm in the cosmos tonight. I'm spaced out. I'm going to lose myself with you. We go on this trip together, a place where you can just completely let go of everything. And then I'm going to get you to, and I want you to interact tonight. Uh, bear in mind, I'm the only one with my eyes open some of the time. So I would like you to feel embarrassed about it, but I want you to physically do what I'm asking you to do tonight so you can get full benefit of this feeling into gratitude, laughter and love. And then we're going to take that feeling into everything we do. Start with the understanding you are loved and you are loved and you are loving. And just for a moment, I want you to think about um, anything that you think in your life is holding you back in some way that you think you, you would like to do or you should be doing that's, or something that's, that you're doing that's not serving you any longer that you want to be free of. I want you to think about that just for a moment. And I'm going to ask these two questions. I know we had um, Sandra Grace present for us maybe last year or the year before. I can't remember now. Time goes so quickly. But Sandra uh, lives in the States. And I met her when I, when I uh, did some uh, presenting in Las Vegas. And we got speaking. And she is an incredible uh, uh, hypnotherapist and um, the way she works is different to most people. But she asked these two questions, which I think are probably the most important questions that we can ask ourselves. And I'm going to give you these two questions. And I want, I want you just having thought about what it is that you'd like to change in your life or, or how you'd like to be that you're not living at the moment. I want you to ask yourself these two questions. What has to happen for you to love yourself enough to treat yourself to the life that you want, the body you want, the happiness you want. What has to happen for you to love yourself enough to treat yourself to the life that you deserve? So that was the first question she asked. And I honestly believe that's the most important question we can ask ourselves. And then the second question, which is equally as important as this, if you are not living that life now, if not, why not? And you'll get a clear answer to that question. And then you're going to feel into that feeling of unconditional love and know it's okay to love yourself. And with doing that, you can, you'll find yourself changing. Once you do this, and I know I've been kind of going on about it for the last few weeks, once you get into that feeling of unconditional love, and that's not arrogance, that's not I love myself, that's an unconditional love for yourself. Once you do that, I promise you this, you will start eating differently. You will start looking after yourself differently. You will stop beating yourself up when you're not 100% perfect. You have a friend or someone in your family that you have an unconditional love for. <clears throat> if that person puts on a few pounds, you don't stop loving them because they put a couple of pounds on. If that person makes a mistake, no matter how bad it is, you don't stop loving them because they make a mistake. And yet, when we don't match up to what we think we should be, we beat ourselves up. A lot of us are very cruel to ourselves. I want you to understand, one, that we're all human and we make mistakes. And it's okay to continue to love yourself. Treat yourself with the same kindness that you do your child or your partner or your brother or your sister or someone you love. And understand you're worth doing that for. So those are the two questions I want you to ask yourself as you're going through this week. 
when you come up against a block, you know, I'm not happy, I'm not living the life I want to live. Ask the question, what has to happen for you to love yourself enough to treat yourself? to that happiness, to treat yourself to that pleasure, to treat yourself to the health that you want. And that second question, if you are not living that now, if not, why not? We're gonna take you into a space today. I want you to think of something you'd like to achieve. It doesn't have to be you know, a big financial goal or a big physical goal. But something you think, you know, I really love to feel like that. I'd love to experience that. And then we're going to take you to that space. And you're going to feel into it. And then you're going to find yourself moving towards it. And at some point, I'm going to ask you to take part in this with me. I'm going to ask you to actually physically do what I'm asking you to do. I want you to put aside any kind of limitations about is there anyone else watching me? Does this look stupid? I'm not gonna ask you anything stupid anyway, but you know, it's let go of all of your limiting beliefs and get into this with me. Because I promise you, if you do this, your life will change. And that's a big statement, but your life will change this evening. So that's it really. Any questions before we, we get into this whole um, thing this evening? Anyone? No one? Okay, great. Well, it's great to see you all. Right. Okay, now I see if Diana. I mean, you know, look at Diana's name. I love that name. Diana Love de Fabregas. It's quite nice, isn't it? Any, any, anyone that has the name Love in their name. God, I'm going to call myself Freddie Love Jack Quinn, I think. Why yeah. not? That was my maiden name. Yeah. So yes, I'm, that's what's going to happen. I look, it's my dog. Yeah. Nice to see you, Freddie Love. Yeah, it's nice to see you, Diana Love. Right, okay. So if you're ready to do this and lose yourself for a while, listen to me if you want. But I don't mean this rudely. I'm not interested in your conscious mind. Your unconscious, instinctive, intuitive being, that part of you, the spirit, the essence of who you are, will hear everything I've got to say and it will take from it what's needed for you to have this experience this evening. All right? Are you ready? Say, I'm ready, Freddie. Yeah. I'm ready, Freddie. Great stuff. Right. <laughs> okay, excellent. All right. Get yourself comfortable. Make sure you're not perched on the edge of a table or something with a hot cup of coffee in your lap or anything like that. And just allow yourself to get into this with me, all right? I'm going to take you into the most profound deep state of trance where you can get in touch with all of your own unconscious abilities, skills, and strengths to create that life you want. So what I'd like you to do is this when you're ready to do this. We're going to do a bit of box breathing. This has come from, well, not come from my son, but he... He got me into it. So we're going to start with a bit of box breathing. So I'm just going to count to six. And as I count to six, I want you to just breathe in for six. I will then count to six again. And as you exhale, we're going to do this four or five times. And as you do that, you'll find yourself becoming less and less aware of yourself as a physical being and totally aware of yourself as a spiritual mind. So get ready, do this with your eyes closed. As I start to count, start to breathe in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold that breath for a moment and breathe out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it for a second. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, 
six. Feel yourself dropping into that space now. Breathe in, one, two, three, four, five, six. Feel yourself drifting deeper and deeper into that wonderful stay as you exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. And continue to breathe like that as you go deeper and deeper now. And every word I say is going to take you deeper and deeper. Feel that wonderful life-giving oxygen flooding into your body and your blood. Feel it flooding down through your body into every cell, every molecule, refreshing you, re-energizing you as you go deeper, deeper, deeper down now. Get a sense of yourself just dropping down through space and time. Down toward a place of total bliss. Get a sense of that happening automatically as you continue to breathe in that way. Imagine it's happening automatically. There's nothing you can do about that. The deeper you go, the better you feel. You may become aware of your breathing, the sound of your breathing. And the sound of my voice. The sound of that life-giving oxygen filling your body. And the sound of my voice as you go deeper, deeper, deeper down. Every word I say now takes you even deeper into that feeling. Just for a while, nobody wants anything, no one expects anything. There is nothing for you to do but to allow yourself that feeling of freedom, pleasure and bliss. What has to happen for you to love yourself enough to allow yourself this pleasure of drifting into the most wonderful, profound trance state. Get a sense of it happening automatically even deeper than before and as you drift even deeper my voice and my words will drift with you to become a part of your experience now every word i say doubles that wonderful feeling everything i say now is your reality Every suggestion I give you, your mind and body will act upon at a molecular, cellular, neurological level. It's now your reality. Deeper, deeper, deeper down. I'm going to count down from 10. And with every number down, your body will enter a state of absolute, total bliss. Way beyond anything you've experienced before. But at the same time as counting down from 10, I'm going to be counting up from one. And with every number up, your mind becomes stronger and clearer and more focused on how you want to feel, how you want to be. And at some point, as I'm counting, the essence of who you are that intangible part of a human being will separate from your body completely. It will be the most incredible experience of freedom and liberation. So with every number down, your body enters a state of total bliss. Every number up, your mind becomes stronger and clearer, more focused on how you want to feel. And I want you to know it's okay to feel that good. 10. Body relaxing, every muscle, nerve and fibre, like you've had a bliss anaesthesia. Feel it flooding down through your body into every cell, just dropping into that space. One. The mind is clearer and stronger than it's ever been before. You know how you want to feel. 
you know what's going to create that life you want. Two, nine, the body goes deeper, deeper down into that state of bliss. Imagine it's happening automatically. There's nothing you can do about it. Just dropping into that incredible space. Every word I say doubles that feeling. Two, every negative thought that you or anyone else ever placed on you in your life is swept from your mind, like clear spring water washing through your mind, sweeping away every negative thought. Eight, the body goes deeper, deeper, deeper down into that wonderful space. Three, every limiting belief that you or anyone else ever placed on you, it's ever held you back, is swept from your mind with that tsunami of beautiful, cool spring water, washing every block, every limitation out. Feel it now. Your mind's clearing of everything that was ever placed on you. Seven, the body goes deeper, deeper, deeper down now just dropping down toward that place of ultimate bliss. I want you to enjoy every moment. Four, the essence of who you are begins to separate from your physical being. Feel it happening now. Six, the body just goes into the most incredible sleep. That's right. Five, the essence of who you are separates from your body and leaves your body in that chair. And as you drift away from your body, the essence of who you are, that intangible part of the human being, the spirit, the mind, look back at that body in that chair and just for a moment, show it some appreciation. How incredible are you? Think about the things that body in that chair has enabled you to do. The pleasure you've experienced through that body. How incredible is that? The people you've held in your hands. How incredible are you? Your hands. Think about the things your hands have enabled you to do to feel, to love. How incredible are you? You are the most incredible creation in the known universe. But as you drift away from that body in that chair, less and less aware of your physical being, further and further away from the physical realm, notice that the essence of who you are is ageless. It's infinite. It has no edge. Get a sense of that now. An understanding that as incredible as your body is, you are not your body. And whatever you thought you were, you are so much more than that. And you're experiencing it now. That freedom from all physical ties. An understanding no matter what happens to your body in that chair, it cannot touch you. The essence of who you are. Because the essence of who you are, the spirit, is infinite. Has no edge, is ageless. I want you to get a sense of that connection with everyone else in this group now. Like air from 30 jars with the lids removed and all there is is air. Where the air was separated before, it becomes one. Get a sense of that now. As you join together at the essence level. Get a sense of how beautiful that is to be a part of and apart from everything else in this universe. 
get a sense of that now as you drift in that space and my voice drifts with you it's become a part of your experience now and as you drift there think about the people you love people that love you think about the people you've helped with your words your kindness your love people who are living their lives in a different way a better way because they met you one word of kindness one piece of brilliance how incredible are you and as you drift in that space i want you to think of a moment of gratitude for someone something some place but a moment of pure gratitude I want you to think of that now and get a sense of it and feel into it. And I want you to do this and you'll find yourself doing it automatically without thinking. I want you to reach up with your right hand like you're reaching up for the stars. And I want you to grasp that feeling of gratitude now do it, grasp it, put your hand up and reach up like you're reaching for the stars, feel into that feeling of gratitude and grasp it with that right hand and pull it into your heart center, put your hand on your heart and feel your heart expanding with that feeling of gratitude, put your left hand over your right hand and feel your heart expanding with that feeling of gratitude. Feel it flooding into every cell, every fiber of your body and your being. The most incredible feeling of gratitude. And now I want you to think of a moment of pure, unconditional love for someone or a time when you knew that someone felt that for you. And I want you to think of that moment of pure, unconditional love now. And now feel into that feeling of unconditional love. Feel into it, get a sense of that feeling now. Step into it. Now reach up once again with that right hand. Like you're reaching for the stars. And grasp that feeling of unconditional love. And pull that into your heart center. And feel your heart expanding with that feeling of unconditional love. Put your left hand over it, feel that feeling growing even stronger, a feeling of unconditional love and gratitude, spreading into every cell, every fiber, lighting you up. Feel it now. And now think of a moment of pure unbridled laughter, a time when you just belly laughed. That feeling that comes from your soul, Think of it, a moment when you just laughed at something or someone who made you laugh, someone who you care about that makes you laugh, that makes you feel great. Think of that moment now, that moment of pure unbridled belly laughter. Feel into it. Get a sense of it. Step into it. And reach up with your right hand once again. Now grasp that feeling of laughter and pull that into your heart. Put your left hand over your right hand and feel that feeling of gratitude and laughter and love flooding your body and your mind, lifting you up, lighting you up. Feel it spreading into every cell, every fiber of your body and your mind. And I want you to notice as your heart is filled with that feeling of gratitude, laughter and love, every doubt has gone from your mind. Every ounce of anxiety and stress has gone from your body and your mind because it cannot coexist in your body and mind with that feeling of gratitude and laughter and love. And you're going to take this feeling into this weekend and you'll find yourself smiling for absolutely no reason. You'll find yourself stopping for a moment and just feeling into that moment. 
get a sense of that now. Because you are love and you are loved and you are loving. Get a sense of it now as you go deeper, deeper down into that feeling. Imagine that's happening automatically. There is nothing you can do about that. Even at first, you have to pretend it was something that was said to you, something that was done to you. You really have no choice. You just feel good. And no matter how hard you try, I remember what it felt like to be anxious or stressed or hurt or sad. The further away those emotions go, replaced by new understanding about your worth and your value, just how incredible you are. You are love, you are loved, you are loving. Take this time just for you and get a sense once again of connecting with everybody else in this group at an essence level. Like oxygen, like the air, there is no separation. Get a sense of how beautiful that is. As you leave that body in the chair and connect with each other at that level, let that lift you up and light you up. Feel those changes taking place in your body. Because in this space you can heal. You can heal at a physical level. But even more importantly, you can heal at a spiritual level. I feel that healing taking place now. You are loved and you are loved and you are loving. No, it's okay to feel that unconditional love for yourself. To treat yourself with love. To be kind to yourself. And to be kind to that body in that chair. Because although it's not you, it is your transport. It is the way you communicate on this physical realm. So look after it and take care of it and be kind to it. Because you are worth it. I'm going to be quiet for a moment while you just drift in that space and feel into that feeling of gratitude, laughter and love. It may be interesting to know that in that relaxed, drifting state of mind where those thoughts drift by like dreams, and some enter the mind and some drift through the mind, and some are left behind, to be used later on. Others are remembered or seem to be remembered at first, but then become more and more distant, forgotten over time. As the unconscious mind protects the conscious mind and leaves those things behind, forgotten, but remembered too. Time changes too, so you'll know what a trance has been. When you begin to know what seemed to be a short time turned out to be a long time, what seemed a long time was really no time at all. Because time and space only exist in the mind. There is only this moment. Get a sense of that now. And from today, whenever you want to return to this state, this feeling of freedom, this deep, trance state, you just repeat those words to yourself. You are love. You are loved. You are loving. You'll find a place where you can sit quietly for a while. Allow yourself that space and that time. And you repeat those words to yourself. 
and you aim them at yourself. You are loved. You are loved and you are loving. And you know it's true. And go over with your unconscious often as you need to, to know that you're free. Free of every negative, limiting belief that ever held you back. Free of every opinion that ever held you back. Because it was never you and it was never true. So in a moment, I'm going to count to 10. Every suggestion I've given you, your mind and body will act upon at a molecular, cellular, neurological level is now your reality. On eight, your eyes will open. You'll feel like you're seeing things for the very first time, like you've had the blinkers removed, the shackles removed, a feeling of freedom, a lightness of being you may have never experienced before, a new understanding about your real worth and your real value and just how incredible you are. And on 10, that feeling of freedom, that healing energy is going to grow stronger day by day. As you heal, not just at a physical level, but a spirit level as well. So get ready as I count to 10. On eight, your eyes will open and you will feel incredible, unable to experience any of the doubts, anxiety, stress, sadness, hurt, pain that was placed on you in your life. The harder you try and remember what it felt like, the further away it goes, replaced by that feeling of gratitude, laughter and love. You're going to take that feeling into everything you do. One, feeling absolutely wonderful now. Two, to create that life that you want. I know it's okay to do that. Three, a feeling of freedom from every limiting belief that ever held you back because it was never true in the first place. Four, feel a force of that love, gratitude and laughter flooding your body and your mind. Five, feel incredibly alive now. Six, seven, eight, eyes opening, feeling absolutely incredible. Nine, ten. Zoom wave. <laughs> Look, I hope you enjoyed the experience. You are love, you are loved, and you are loving. Take that feeling and understanding to everything you do. And pay it forward, as they say. There'll be opportunities over this weekend to help someone change their mind, change their life. And this is how easy it is to help somebody. If someone you know is stressed or anxious about something that's coming up, remind them that at this moment in time, what they're thinking is just their imagination. Because the future hasn't happened, it can only be imagined. And just say to them, imagine it differently. And see what happens. If they're worrying about the past, remind them that the past is a vacuum. It's a void that stretches back to the Big Bang. It no longer exists. There is only this moment. Let's live in it, love in it, squeeze the juice out of every moment and pass that on. Well, look, it's great to see you all. You all look kind of a bit stunned, to be honest. <laughs>
But look, um, have a great weekend. And uh, say, any opportunity to make someone smile, make them smile. And if you make them smile, remember my thinking on hypnosis. If we can create an emotion, we can give a suggestion. So if you can make someone smile in that moment, tell them how beautiful they are, tell them how brilliant they are. Okay. And they'll understand it. Mm. All right? Never waste an emotional moment to say something nice or give some powerful suggestion, okay? Thanks for joining me tonight. And uh, hopefully I'll see some of you at the retreat um, we're running. I know a lot of you in Australia and stuff. Um, but if you are anywhere in England and you get a chance through the summer, I'm running these retreats and they're free for everybody that's part of the Jacqueline Hypnosis Academy. Um, and if you're not a part of the Jacqueline Hypnosis Academy, as I said to Lisa earlier, you can just book for a month and come and spend the weekend with us for free. And it's 47 quid. But don't tell my son, Anthony, because he will just sack me for giving you these, these tips on how to get things cheap. All right, so um, hopefully well, one day we will meet in person and that'll be great. Okay. Lovely to see you again. Have a beautiful weekend. Remember. Thank you, Freddie. Thank you. Thank you, Freddie. You are loved and you are loved and you are loving. Mm -hmm. right. See you soon. Thank you. 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 Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.